Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name's Stacy. These are my chickens. Uh, I know I've showed them before in past videos, but I thought it would be kind of neat to film with them today uh, because I want to talk about this book, um, The Premonition at Withers Farm by Jamie J. Wright. And there is actually a lot to do with um, chickens and chicken coops in this book. Uh, so yeah, I just wanted to have them be a part of the book aesthetics, I guess. I do want to mention though, in case y'all have been, um, you know, following my rooster saga, uh, of the last few months, we did have a rooster that, uh, made himself known in quite a lot of my videos, but he is not here with us anymore. He ended up turning pretty violent. <laughs> he got very aggressive. Um, it was bad, so he had to go. So I am down to eight girl chickens and I have three ducks. So this is Jamie J. Wright's latest book. It just came out this month. I picked this up from my library. I was surprised my library had it, uh, but I'm glad they did. This one, like all her other ones, has two timelines. One is in 1910. I think this takes place in Michigan. I actually really liked both the timelines and I don't know if I preferred one over the other. Maybe the, maybe the modern one, which is kind of odd because I love historical fiction and I typically don't like anything that's set in our time period, but the modern one, I just really related to it. So in the past timeline, there is Perlette, I think is how you say her name and it's just her and her mother her dad passed away and her mom uh, does seances and claims to speak to the dead and then there is the local town doctor named george who is very much the the voice of reason in this book i found perlette to be a bit annoying and i didn't like how um she just didn't want to hear it she didn't want to hear what you know um, other people had to say or she didn't uh, she, and she also didn't like listen to that inner voice that we have when there's a dangerous situation and you know you try to avoid it so i feel like she was lacking in common sense in a lot of ways so also in the past timeline there are some murders that take place in this cornfield of this farm and so the people in that timeline are trying to figure out what's going on who's causing these murders in the current timeline, there is a husband and wife who have had multiple miscarriages. There are definite trigger warnings for miscarriages, um, depression, but they end up buying this old rundown farmhouse and um, trying to just figure out how to put the pieces of their life back together and how to kind of come back together as a couple because of um, the things that they had gone through over the past few years had really shattered their relationship. I thought Jamie Jo Wright did a really good job of um, showing all of the emotions that they were going through, their thoughts and their feelings, and that all made sense to me. Although that's not the part that I relate to. I relate to the part where they bought this creepy old farmhouse because you guys know I have talked about in a few videos um, our property in Tennessee. So when I say we got a property in Tennessee, we basically bought this farm. So we bought this old dilapidated house in uh, Tennessee and a lot of the issues that they have are the same exact things that we have with that house. So part of their house is this crawl space that's in the basement. And normally, um, like the house that I, I have here in Virginia, we have a crawl space here, we don't have a basement, but you get to the crawl space from the outside of the house. There's, you know, a door cut into the brick or the foundation of the house, and that's how you go under the house. Um, it's not inside the house, but our place in Tennessee, the crawl space is inside the house and I wish I was there. <laughs> I wish I was currently at that place and I would give you guys like a tour. I, I would show you guys what I'm talking about and how creepy it is, but it's one of the things that really wigged me out when we um, were looking at that property. Also, they talk about the floors in here being um, like bowed in or sunken and that's how our kitchen floor is. 
because they dug out that crawl space after the house was built and they dug it out underneath the kitchen and they didn't put like uh, supports, proper supports in there. And so the kitchen floor bows down. Um, if you put a marble on the floor, it like rolls down to the center. We also have an old creepy chicken coop that has an attic loft area in it, just like they do in the book. It was the weirdest thing reading this book. I felt like Jamie Jo Wright went to that house and like cased it out and then wrote a book about that property. <laughs> And I feel like if I was at that place reading this book, I would have probably been terrified. I probably wouldn't have read this book if I was there. I, I don't think I could have done it. So anyway, I really related to that um, experience that the couple is going through dealing with this old farmhouse. So getting back to the story, I actually was a little bit hesitant in picking this book up because of how I felt about her last book, The Souls of Lost Lake. I honestly did not like that book. And I know that I am definitely in the minority of people who felt that way, and that is okay, but I had my reasons for it. Um, so yeah, I was definitely a little hesitant about this book and wondering if this was going to be uh, too much for me or if there were things in here that I am personally convicted that I need to avoid. But I really did want to give this book a chance, mainly because there was chickens in it. Um, I kept seeing people post online about the chickens, and I was like, if there's chickens in it, I kind of want to read it. Um, and I'm glad I did. I honestly think that this is her best book. I've read all of her other books except for the one that features an asylum, and I, I can't think of the name of that one right now. But I've read all of her other books, and I think this one is the best. I think both the storylines are done really well, and I, like I said, I think the emotions, I think she wrote the emotions, um, like, spot on. I liked the mystery aspects of it, um, because there is stuff happening in the past, and there's stuff happening um, in our current timeline, and I thought both were very interesting. Um, the main character from the current timeline has a best friend who I thought was phenomenal. I really liked her best friend. I liked the faith elements in this book. And from my opinion, I think that out of all of her books, this one has the most um, faith elements in it. This one definitely felt like a, a real Christian fiction book. And I really appreciated that. Um, there was some really good, um, you know, scriptures being used and faith being brought up and the right questions were being asked. Uh, so I just, I really like that. Also, I know that some people are hesitant about this book because it does talk about um, speaking to the dead and the seances and all of that stuff, but everything is explained and there are characters who are there to teach you that those things are wrong and bad and to steer you towards God. So I think it's done in a, in a very good way. I did give it four stars on Goodreads, which is a really good review for me. Uh, I might bump it up to 4.5 possibly. So uh, the only thing that kept it from that, that high or a uh, five really is Perlet. I just didn't love her as a character. She did annoy me in some spots. But I did think it was a really good book and I am looking forward to her next one. I think it has something to do with um, Moreau, Castle of Moreau, Island of Moreau. I don't know, but that one sounds pretty good too. Oh, and I did want to mention, um, I have seen a lot of reviews where people were saying that this is her creepiest book, that this was scarier than Souls of Lost Lake. Um, for me, even though I have that connection with the old creepy farmhouse and I don't think I could read this book at that place, I think Souls of Lost Lake was scarier than this. I didn't find this scary, even though I am kind of a wimp now, um, as opposed to how I used to be with, you know, horror and things like that. I, there was one scene with uh, claustrophobia, and I will say that that one made me feel more, like, tense, more like, ooh, I don't like this. I, um, yeah, I would not like to be in this situation. So um, there was that, but other than that one scene, I didn't find any of it scary. Well, guys, I think that's all I've got for this book. I hope this review is okay. Like I said, I, I've never done a single book review before, so I hope it's not terrible. <laughs> um, anyway, if you have read this book, let me know what your thoughts are on it, and I will talk to you guys later.